Welcome back to another episode, Nazareth channel. I want to actually show you how I'm going to install this uh, new dash camera that I have in the previous video. It's going to be linked below. So let me show you. This is my dash cam. And I was going to reuse the same power cable that goes to here, but that was not enough amperage so the camera would turn off. So I'm going to install this wiring, the new wiring. So we have to wire, uh, route this cable through here, through here. Now you do not have to take this plastic pillar off uh, because you can just tuck the cable around. But just in case, if you do, let me show you how it is. So this um, panel, you can just pull it out. Like it's, you can just start like here pulling, but then you're gonna encounter a pl problem with this plastic uh, like piece, this retainer. And this is it. So if you pull this, you're going to encounter a problem. You won't be able to take this panel off because this is going to hold it in place. And the one thing you do have to do, you see like there's this pin. In order to remove this, you would have to press on these pins. One here and then push on these pins right here. Then you can remove this panel. But when you remove it, I want to show you how to reinstall it. You just kind of push it through like so and just push it in until it clips into place so again you see these little pins on the side you need like a, a needle nose pliers to push it then you can remove this but uh, okay let's reinstall this there you go and we're gonna Double check, this is good. And you see on the bottom here, we have like these like plastic, uh, I would say ho horns. So they're gonna sit right there, one here and one here. And all you're gonna do, just align it and just clip it into place. Before we do anything, I'm gonna connect the power cord. We're gonna route, route all the way in, all the way through. So I had this old uh, cable, power cable on my old dash cam and I was going to reuse it on the new one. I thought if I'm going to use this adapter and I thought it's going to work. You see I plug in this adapter and then I push it back in the back of the camera and it works but it shuts off after like 30 seconds. So I cannot use this power cord even though on the back here it says 12 uh, to 24 volts output 5 volts 1500 milliamp and then this one that came with the camera 12 to 24 volts 5 volt dc and 2500 milliamp so this one for the old camera i couldn't use because the camera would turn off so i'm going to use the original one that came with this teeth song because this one has more uh milliamps 2500 milliamps so i'm gonna rewire everything we have to guide this power cable through this little hole see and inside there's like a hole right there we can just push this cable through right simple just like i did before but with this new power cable we have this piece right here so the cable is not gonna fit I won't be able to fish it through so that's a problem i have to somehow maybe remove this and then fish the cable through we gotta figure it out because and i don't want to drill any holes here so let's figure it out I decided to cut this cable and i'm gonna route it through and this this piece right here i'm actually gonna reconnect because this little part right here is not going to fit through that plastic hole. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to nicely do this. All right, guys. Drop your glove box. Make sure you disconnect this piece right here. And then there's these tabs. You got to push on one end. Push on the other. Glove box goes down. And we're going to... Uh, push the cable through this little hole. See right there? There's a hole. I'm gonna push this cable through here and we're gonna fish it on this side. So keep pushing. You're gonna have a lot. You have to keep 
keep going. So this part is kind of hard. When you're guiding this cable, you have to feel it here. Then it came out. Hold it with your, you can feel it with your finger. All right, just keep pulling all the way to the end. Keep pulling. Uh, that's about right. See, now we have all this cable here, right? It's sitting here. We have to, before we do anything, I'm gonna go up and connect it to the camera. And then from the top, we're gonna guide it down and tuck it into here. Before I put these two uh, wires together, I wanna guide this cable behind this panel right here. And then we're just gonna work up because this piece, it will not fit through this hole. So that's the only problem. So as of right now, I'm just gonna fish this uh, wire behind here and we're gonna get this thing out and go along the trim. Now you can also remove this panel. See this one right here. And then you can figure out how you wanna route the cable. But like I said, I'm just gonna go behind this panel and inside this rubber grommet. Just push it, pull the cable out. And now I'm just gonna reconnect these uh, cables and just use electrical tape. Now some of you might criticize me. I just use electrical tape. You can use a shrink wrap. I just did this. And uh, let's plug it into the camera, see if the camera works. So the camera turns on, it works, that's nice. And we're just gonna tuck this remaining of the cable around here, guide it all the way down. And the, we're gonna, the remaining of the cable, we're just gonna zip tie it. In the packaging was the camera, we had these little clips. So we're gonna use one here and one here to hold the cable, as you see like this. And then we're gonna tuck this inside this panel. Just go and push it in there. So just keep pushing the cable in. Go around this corner. And when you get to this corner, just pull this panel down a little bit and tuck the cable inside. And it is easier when you don't have this plastic pillar. So you don't have to take it out completely. You can just pull it out just a little bit and push the cable in there. But it's easier without it. And just push the remaining of the cable around here. Now the cable goes into, into this piece, uh, rubber piece, into this grommet and push it in just like so. Just keep pushing it in all the way to the end. Go down like this. All the way down around this corner. So I have this plastic tool removal, this plastic piece. You can just push the cable inside like so. Keep going. Okay, and then on the inside here, pull the excess cable out. And then inside your glove box, whatever cable you have left, you can just bundle it together and just use a zip tie and that's it and leave it sitting here so we have some slack see we have some cable left see that's what i did i'm just gonna cut this piece and we're gonna tuck the cable away and then just hide it here or so and reinstall the glove box that's very easy make sure these um, how do you say these plastic horns are aligned with this piece right here same thing on the other side that's it and then install this plastic piece and we're done so the power cable to the camera is secured it looks pretty good goes up hides inside here goes all along goes along on the top here 
and what you can do you can actually push the cable through the space here you don't have to take this panel out because it's hard to remove these plastic uh, retainers and then just guide it along down 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 into your glove box and that's it turn on the power we have a power here camera turns on for this next step it's gonna be fun installing this uh, guiding this uh, cable all the way to the front so let's start I'm gonna remove this camera for now it slides to the side and I'm gonna disconnect this cable here we have to remove this panel there's like th three or four clips on the inside we're just gonna pull it and it's gonna come out If you break these, you can also buy them in the, at the auto parts store or Amazon. That's not a big problem. The idea is to route the cable from the camera down through here, through this uh, fat grommet on the inside, inside here. And we're gonna have a cable go all the way inside. Go inside here. I'm gonna push it inside here, all the way to the front. I'm gonna plug it into the camera and I'm gonna start working my way up along the perimeter and go to the back and the access cable we're gonna tuck, tuck it in as you see here this is the port here we have this cable we're pushing it in and on the inside of this panel and the hardest part is when you come to this corner you have to tuck this cable inside and that's the hardest part and I don't want to remove this panel again because it's hard to uh, reattach the clip so I just got to keep pushing it until the cable sits inside here I found it helpful to use this plastic tool just push the cable in it's much easier to do it with it and uh, let's push the remaining cable we'll come around this corner we're gonna hide it inside this grommet successfully went around this corner nothing is protruding and we're just gonna hide this cable inside this grommet go all around here to this corner and then hide it here you can do it with one hand pretty much now when we're here I gotta push this panel up a little bit and then use my plastic tool that I have Gonna push the cable in into here. What I'm doing, creating this space, and I'm pushing the cable in, and it hides in there perfectly. Then, when we come around this corner here, we're also gonna guide the remaining cable all the way to the back and to that panel and all the way out. See how this cable hidden nicely inside here? So it goes along here. And then just push the remaining through under this rubber piece right here. All, all the way until we hit this corner. Once we're here, this corner, you can use your plastic trim removal tool again to pry it a little bit. So you have uh, space for this table. Just like this. So now we're all the way at the end there. Let's see. We're all the way at the end. And I'm just gonna go and guide this cable out of there. So we're gonna go around this corner and but first we need to remove this rubber piece and we're gonna guide this cable inside this panel and then we're gonna guide it through this hole through this rubber grommet outside here and towards our camera remove this piece yes it's okay to remove it and 
and um, you see all the space this cable is gonna go inside so keep guiding the cable like so all the way until you get to this point right here so I have to pull this uh, uh, panel down, but there are these plastic retainers. There's one, there's two, and then there's three. So I don't want to break them. And I have this tool right here. I'm just gonna like insert it like this, and supposedly it's gonna be easy. <laughs> it's gonna remove those retainers. So I push it like this, go slow, and this piece comes out. Same thing here. Right like this. Nice. And then one more. Done. I'll link the link in the description if you want to buy this. It's on Amazon. It's very easy to remove these pins. And now I can pull the panel down and we can see there's a rubber thingy. We can have to guide the cable through there. First, let's uh, remove this grommet. Okay. And then remove this one. Now you see how this rubber piece on the bottom is wrapped with tape. Uh, you can, if you want, cut this a little bit. I see people do it, but I'm going to try to unwrap some of this tape. All right, you see here, I did a little bigger cut. And uh, so we can guide this cable in there. But remember, it has to go on, on the inside. So let's route this cable out of here. So we are routing this cable out. Because some people make a mistake, they just start routing it through here and then they forget. <laughs> yeah, you need to go on the inside. So let's keep pulling it out. See, all this cable is nicely hidden on the inside. And now we're just gonna take this piece and try to route it through this rubber grommet all the way up. But I've seen people having a hard time, so they spray some like uh, soapy water. So, and then they also put some kind of piece in there, like a rod, tape it, and then pull it up. We'll see. All right, so the hardest part is to push this cable through. So you have to have something in there. Start with this end, like I have this fat zip tie. I pushed it through. Now I'm gonna tape the end of this cable and I might pull it through. All right, so now pull until the cable comes out on the other end. Here's our cable here, and now we're just gonna pull it out, all the way out. Okay, still have a little bit left. As soon as I pull this out, we gotta guide it through here. But with one hand, it's hard to record. So I'm gonna just stop the video, pull the cable out. I actually did not use any lubrication here. Oh my, all right, let's continue. Okay, good, now I install this grommet back just push it in here on all of the sides make sure it's sitting nice on all sides and then we got to take this cable and guide it up out 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 so this comes out out of this hole pull it out all the way out once we're done with that we can reinstall this grommet Check all the sides, very good. And now we can connect this to our camera. Uh, first, let's reinstall the camera. So we can just slide the camera in. There you go. And 
reconnect this connector. I have so much cable left, we can just roll it, make it into a bundle, put a zip tie and just slide it here. This is what I did. And now I'm just gonna tuck this cable inside here. So nothing is vibrating, nothing is in the way, looks good. All right, all I have to do is reinstall this plastic roof uh, panel retainers or whatever you call it. So you push it in like so. Another one. That's it. I'm going to reinstall this grommet, this panel right here. Just push it nicely, nice and tight. And there you go. Now if you want, you can clean this stuff if, if you want to. But it looks good. What we have left is this panel. Make sure you have these plastic clips in place. There's four and just align everything like so just push it in done this is done double check your work especially worried that this rubber piece is sitting nice and tight Look how nice it looks, nice and neat. Also here, cable is hidden on the inside. Goes all the way to the front. Now, let's turn it on, see if this camera turns on. And it is turning on. And this is our rear camera, this is our, fr our front camera, and this is our interior camera. So yeah, everything works. The rear camera works. The setup is complete, so pretty straightforward installation. The only difficulty you will encounter is around the corners here and around the corners here and then the one in the back, the little grommet. But uh, if this panel comes out, don't panic. You need a um, needle nose pliers and there's two little pins like I show you. Squeeze it. You can pull this panel. You can pull this thing out. And also there's one here. So everything looks very nice. Everything looks very nice. The cables are hidden. You can push it through. If there's some coming out, you can just push it up. But uh, yeah, the camera works. This is the rear camera. That's the interior. And then this is the exterior. Double check your work. Make sure the cable is nicely hidden. You see, it looks very nice. I went all the way back, all the way back. Look how neat it looks. Very nice and neat. I like it. Also, this camera is nice. You can adjust it. Very nice. And there are no cables here. Nothing is interfering. Also, double check. Make sure this grommet is sitting nicely. Very important. I see some people use this one, but it's kind of stupid. It's very narrow. This one is fatter. And make sure you cut a little bit. Uh, but the most important part, if you want to lower this piece, this trim, highly recommend this part, this tool. This is the brand gear uh, panel clip pliers. You see how easy it was for us to remove these uh, clips. So the job was done nicely. And that's how you install this rear rear dash camera and the front camera on the RAV4. I've seen some people install this camera a little bit lower, like around here, because that's where the wiper comes and cleans the area. But I like it this way. It looks much neat, much neater. 
and uh, all the way to the end. I mean, there's a, uh, a lot of wiring left. We left like a slack of wires. I can always move this camera down all the way here, but I like this position is much nicer. It's all the way to the top. I don't like it when the camera sits here. So worst case scenario, I can clean the, the window, but uh, I like the location of the camera the way it is here. It looks very nice. Actually, guys and girls, this is perfect position for this camera because the wiper goes all the way up here and the camera lens is here. So yeah, you will be able to see nice and clean window. So this is a perfect location. Thank you for watching Nazaretov's channel. I hope this episode was helpful. And now you can install your own dash cam for the front and for the back. So you see how easy it is, as long as you're very careful on that pillar. See you in the next video. Click on the links below, subscribe, hit the bell, and see you later.